got a 2015 Ford C-Max Energy and the blower fan either doesn't turn at all or turns very slowly and makes a weird noise. We scan for codes. There's no codes at all related to the HVAC system. So we're gonna just open it up and see what the fan looks like. And just in case the fan is bad, we've got a replacement fan. So we'll proceed to sort of pull the under the dash area apart and you know get in there and try and get the blower motor out, which is pretty deep in there. It's actually situated center dash, but a little high up and deep in there. Hidden screws. There we go. Where the hell is the fan on this thing? We're on. See this door here? See that door? Recirc. There. See that op that motor open there? This mirror off. <laughs> and right. oh, there, the fan just stopped. I don't know if you can see in there. Okay, there's the fan turning slowly. Now I want to hit off on the fan or turn the fan down to zero. There. Okay, so the fan blade stopped. And I see the fan blade and there's nothing like stuck in it. So it's not mechanically blocked. The blower fan motor is bad. It's good that we got our diagnosis, but the bad news is it's a really big job to get in there. Let's just start pulling it apart. All right, so there were actually three screws holding this unit in. And so I got those. Oh, oh. nice. That worked out. So it looks like I can pull that fuse block down maybe without unplugging it all. All right, let's get that bracket that holds the fuse panel. Yes. Yes. All right, so let me just show you <laughs> what was so hard about getting this out besides getting this and its bracket out of the way, which you just saw. This had an obvious screw here, but this screw and this screw were very difficult to get. I really definitely couldn't see them without a mirror, but I couldn't even touch them. So I got a long extension with a, you know, a Torx bit on there and I screwed the bit on so that it wouldn't fall off down in this hole. And finally got those out. Okay. Well. There's our motor. Okay. So, I think... Looking at the old motor, I'm going to go to the opposite side. I'm going to give it a twist and try and push it through this way. Wow, this is really... Okay, so I can touch the motor, I can barely see it, and I think it'll twist one way or the other. And I got my hand on the motor. Jesus. Oh my God. Could this possibly be any harder? <laughs> oh, I see, there's a locking tab. Beautiful. Okay, so it looks like that's the locking tab and I'm gonna have to press that and twist clockwise, just like you guessed. So I'm gonna press that click clockwise. Okay, so now, you know, we need to twist this motor housing and it's hard to get through the fan blades and onto the motor itself. So I'm gonna snip the fan blade out of the way since this fan shot anyways. Man, 
Alright. Here's the fan impeller out of the way. Now the idea is to be able to twist it more. Oh yeah, now it's pretty twistable. Alright, now this is gonna work. It finally twisted all the way out. So it's that easy. <laughs> That's all it took. Easy peasy. I think I broke my elbow Ugh. and sprained my neck, but otherwise I feel pretty good. All right, so we got the old motor out and it wasn't easy. And if you look at the back, there's these little ramps. So it's sort of like twist lock type design. And we did have to bust the fan blade out of the way just to be able to grip this and turn it. So out with the old and in with the new. And these do look the same. So we're going to pop this down deep into that hole. And then I believe, you know, you really can't twist it from the front because, you know, this spins. And we don't want to damage the new one. So we're going to just pop it through. And I'll try and twist it from the back. And I want this to slide easily because it was super hard to get this out. So I might actually spray a little grease on here just to sort of make it so it twists and clicks easily. Sprayed a little white lithium grease on that puppy so that those slidey, locky things will twist more easily. Need me to hold that in place? Yeah, if you could just sort of push it towards me a little. Like that. Oh yeah, that seems good. It's locked in. Almost. Oh yeah, I think I just got it. Yep. Feels tight. Nice. Yep. Click. Nice. Well, I was expecting to struggle with that phase of it for a long time, but actually just gave her a little twist and it clicked right in there. So now got this guy and I don't really anticipate being able to get that screw back in but I think I can get this one and this one. design is this. There, it just clicks in somehow. Okay. At this point, before I completely button it up, I want to put the battery back and uh, turn the car on and test and make sure the blower fan works. So we'll do that now. This is what I like to Call the moment of truth. Okay. Four. Woo. All right, it's definitely blowing. Max fan. Definitely feel some strong air coming out of this sucker. And I think it was the, let's look at that blend door motor because we took that out and make sure that operates. I think that was the recirculate fresh. Yeah, that's working. And back. Okay. We are all good. That we sounds like a win. I don't know if I'll show the rest, but I'm just gonna button up all the trim panels and we're done. All right, we're all back together. We're gonna give it a shot, and just make sure everything's still all good. We did test before complete assembly, but let's just test again. Yep. All right, here 
working. We got a working fan. So the problem with that fan being broken is not only do you have not have AC, you don't have heat. Now it's fixed. We spent 60 bucks and about three hours of very painful labor. I'm guessing if we called the shop, they would have said 2,000 bucks. So we did good. It's fixed and back on the road again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Mr. Electric. <laughs>